Guys, we have to talk. This shit is completely nuts now, okay? Google MCP, right? I hope you're excited by that one. Plus Klein or Roo, right? I just use Roo and Klein interchangeably. I'm actually using Roo right now just because I like Boomerang tasks, but it's, yeah, same thing. And then Augment Code, right? Which is the latest um, system that people have come out with. Augment Code plus Roo or Klein plus Google MCP, absolutely insane WordPress directories. You can churn these out. It takes two to three hours from idea to literally result like posting. Just before we get into this, I highly recommend that you join the school. Just don't be second to these updates, right? I literally posted this uh, in the school very, very recently, 12 minutes ago, uh, Google Maps MCP and also Unity MCP, which I haven't talked about on the channel either. It's very active, as you can see, there's people online all the time. People are really enjoying it. It'll be the first link in the description, especially if you're a noob and you're confused by some of this stuff. Check it out for sure. So how does this actually look? Come on, Hamish, stop chatting shit and show us why you're making this video, right? Let's just go to this local uh, WordPress and we'll open this website. Remember, this took two to three hours, including data gathering, right? Data gathering is kind of specifically why I'm making this video right now. I know the website doesn't look like insane. I understand that, but it took two to three hours to make, including research, including choosing the niche, right? There's still some things to change. Obviously, some of these colors are not right, et cetera, et cetera. But just look at this, right? Look at this bloody website. Beautiful, beautiful website, right? Built on WordPress, directory, all the SEO, ready to go. I mean, you couldn't make better even if you were like a professional, right? And I'm not really a professional WordPress creator at all. Really, really cool thing, right? Let's just go on, for example, swimming, right? So you can see best beaches for swimming in Ireland. Guess who's gonna be ranking for that very, very soon. We scroll down, we have beach one. We scroll down further, we have beach two. We scroll down foot. Sorry, that looked like my, my old house for a second. That was crazy. Uh, we scroll down further and we have beach three, if there is one. Yep, there we go. And this just keeps going down because there's a lot of beaches that are good for swimming, right? So this is how we rank on Google. Or we could go to counties and we could say, okay, so we wanna rank four best beaches in Antrim Island, top rated Antrim beaches, right? Antrim being, uh, it might be in Northern Ireland actually, I don't wanna say in Ireland. Yeah, it's in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's on the, the island of Ireland, <laughs> as some might say. So Hamish, how are you doing this? Well, I have discovered something beautiful, which is this right here, which uh, that was not planned, but um, you can see here, okay, now I'm on ask mode, we'll begin researching Fanor Beach, County Clare, right? This is not one that we've done already, you can see, right? So now it'll go off and it'll do Fanor Beach, right? So if I just press always allow here, you'll see it gets the coordinates finally, nice and easy process, gets the official, you know, whatever, place ID, all that good stuff. And then it does some seriously in-depth research. Like you can see here, blue flag, Tom below, I don't know what the hell that even means. It's got loads of images, loads of really, really good information that you probably won't find on other websites because this is a brand new system, basically created by me. I, I, I kind of copied Manus obviously, but this is my system, right? I kind of made this system. So we can put always allow here again, you can see, look at that, bang, all these really beautiful details, blah, 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 right? So instead of just making a directory where we're competing with Google, what we're doing is we're making the next up, right? So if I just go on a specific beach here, and also another thing as well, uh, which is really, really cool, is this entire time that I'm talking to you, I have two things coding at once. I have augment chat, which is coding and completing the website, right? So I just changed this filter system because before it was going on infinitely, which is not ideal. So I just changed it. As soon as I click one of these and press apply filters, you'll see best family friendly beaches in Ireland, beaches, features, family friendly, bang. These are all family friendly apparently, I'm sure. Let's say we wanna go late night. So we go 7 p.m., right? There's this one here is open until 7 p.m. So we can go to La Hinch uh, in Clare at 7 p.m., right? And it should be open according to this anyway. <laughs> Don't uh, don't quote me on that, but yeah, it should uh, should be open, right? So this is super, super cool, super, super interesting. It seems like this view all facilities thing, 
isn't working. We can reset filters here, but like I can make changes as I'm going. Okay, that's the beautiful thing about having one system researching, right? So now I'll say, now please add it to my CSV, right? And then the other one, the other system is creating and editing the website. So what I've just said here is add this to the CSV, right? So you can see this part of the process as well. I think people will find this next part particularly interesting, okay? Trust me, just stay with me for two seconds, right? So now it's gonna append it to this CSV, right? And then if I go to beaches, this is a custom made theme by AI, right? You can either go to the school or watch the previous couple of videos where I've been talking about this nonstop. I can go and import beaches here, right? And then I can drag this uh, file, which you can see was up updated now, literally right now. So let's just see if that's true. Yep, that's Fanor Beach, perfect. And now it's moving on to the next one while I continue doing the website. So it's like a living, breathing process, right? So if I press import here, we should see that one was, or two was successfully imported. Let's see. Three, two, one, there we go. Created two. So now we go on all beaches, Fanor Beach. We open this up. There's no picture, bit of a shame, um, but that's okay. And it looks like there's a little bit of information missing here as well, I would say. It looks like the CSV has been changed again. This happens a lot because I've got, um, basically it got interrupted and um, it didn't really work properly just because I, instead of working on, instead of working on, the, on, on this research process in one go using boomerang tasks, I'm expanding on this CSV, right? So I'm expecting it to get worse and worse, the quality of the data, just because um, the, the prompt has changed. But you can see it's still doing exactly what I want it to do, okay? So this is Silverstrand Beach. Let's look at the SEO, Silverstrand Beach, Galway Complete Guide and Reviews, perfect. Um, and yeah, it's just missing the images, basically. I'll probably run this again and just say, um, can we have some images, uh, please? Because for some reason, it's not finding images anymore. Then again, I say that, and there is this image here within the CSV. So likely what's happened is it's put it in the wrong, um, what's it called, the wrong column, right? Because there is a link, there is, a, there is an image here. Uh, this one is uh, it is fake, but so yeah, this is the process, okay? And if you do this from scratch, by the way, everything will be in the description, all the SOP, everything, all on the school as well. But yeah, this process is getting insane now, okay? And just to pull a blue Peter on you for one second, here's one that I did earlier. Um, this was my first iteration. This took two to three hours, maybe a little bit more. Um, and you can see, really, really nice result. Again, we have some index pages again. I'm just going to keep making these just because, you know, this is what I do. I'm just curious as to what works and what doesn't work. But yeah, this is pretty much ready to go now. If you're curious about the launching process, I'll probably film that as well. And I'll leave the video there, guys. This is getting absolutely insane now how quickly you can make a website. I love it personally. People are getting pissed off, I think. But I mean, I absolutely love this kind of dual experience of doing the research while you're also making the website and making improvements. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.